And then I came all the way from the south of England, all the way to North Wales, on taking a train to a train, not sleeping through the night, sleeping on a park bench the next day, to end up uh, going to have dinner with him. And he was amazing. He was just so, it, he was really reluctant once we first started talking. Like he was a little more quiet, but as the night went on uh, and he realized, you know, what a big fan I was and how much respect I did have for him, he opened up and he was just awesome. You know, one of, one of these experiences I always take with me. Uh, he walks over to, he goes, Eddie, man, you okay? And he's like, and he's like, yeah, man, it's just, I don't know, you know, I broke my ankle or whatever. And then he, as he looks up, like Justice Payne's already gone. So it's fucking disingenuous, like, yeah, man, you okay? And then before he can even get an answer out, he's already gone. He's fucking polishing his title belt and fucking, you know, trying to hide his erection. Oh, uh, no. And then uh, Saito's in the corner just kind of, like, waiting for him. Like, all right, come on, come on, feet up, feet up. And he's, like, kind of crumpled over, like, on his side. And I see the referee's shoe, like, goes down to him. And, and like, uh, he just panics for a moment. And then he calls for the bell. And they ring the bell. And I'm like oh, shit, like, that's not supposed to happen. Like, he, you know, he must have got knocked out. So I just beeline straight for the ring, and I go up to Bison because, uh, you know, he's ringside selling. And I'm like, I'm like, well, yeah, what happened? Did he get knocked out, you know? And he's like, he didn't even answer me. He just goes, oh, fuck, he's, he's turning purple.